Dr. Garcia? Oh, please, call me Rupert. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Vanishing ships, sea monsters, aliens, all legends. Don't let them spook you. Anyway, we'll be out here a few more nights. Whatever you say, Doc. We'll all be home safe and sound before you know it. are out of control, Cardi. Even the men in my shipyard are expressing concern. I know. We both know what's causing this. Yes, but what can I do? Use my security people if need be. I leave it to you to make the arrangements. <laughs> That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Until he declared himself emperor of all he saw. I remember hearing tales of his tyranny when I was young. I have also heard of the first emperor, the father of monsters. A megalodon. How big is that thing? Between 70 and 90 feet, 21 to 27 meters. The megalodon was the largest shark that ever existed. It feared nothing. It had no predators. Its jaws were stronger than any other animal ever. The Meg could bite the whale in half, crashing through the bones. Until today, Megalodons were thought to have been extinct for over two million years. Wrong. A living fossil.
you're wasting your time on a, on a small imagination like mine. Big flattery will keep you alive. Someone who thinks up all those evil schemes? No, indeed. I was to say to you, I'm a stranger traveling from the east seeking that which is lost. Then I would reply that I am a stranger traveling from the West. It is I whom you seek. And it is true. You are a protector of man. A warrior for God. A Magi. A warrior for God. Right. My friend, there is a fine line between coincidence and fate. Live free. Rule well.